At six, if you're heading to the short north this weekend, safety changes are going into effect. Expect more police officers and a team trained in de-escalation. It follows violence and shootings there nearly a year ago today. Well, this weekend, the short north will likely be crowded. We're talking great weather, mm -hmm. gallery hop, and of course, OSU graduation. And that means tens of thousands of people will be heading there. Genevieve's Colin Dorsey is joining us from the short north tonight and looks like some safety measures might come into play before the crowds. Yeah, that's right. The summer season really does get underway here in the short north this weekend with the gallery hop on Saturday. But safety was a big topic that came up in a in a study that was done here in the short north earlier this year. So we came down here earlier in the day and asked people, do you feel safe here in the evenings? I'm here during the day because I work downtown here, so okay. I'm not here as much in the evenings. But yeah, I've always felt safe in the area. We're just coming around here at night is not sometimes it's a little shaky. It's a mixed bag of reaction. Many people say it's safe. Just keep yourself aware while others think more can be done. Well, more is happening. The executive director of the Short North Alliance, Betsy Pandora, says they're not wasting time making those changes. I anticipate to see um, an increased presence of police officers utilizing bike bicycles uh, throughout the neighborhood uh, beginning this weekend, and we anticipate that those efforts will continue through the summer season. Last summer saw a rough start in the short north. Why is everybody walking around with a weapon? Almost a year ago today, two back to back shootings left 10 people hurt. Then a week later, a man was shot and killed near this nightclub, which has since closed. Those are just some of the crimes which led to tighter security measures, parking bans and earlier closing times for weeks on end. Pandora says they took those incidents to heart and it showed up in a January study. Visitors needed to feel safer to continue coming. Some new measures this year include assigned areas for food vendors, later paid parking, expanded code a service and designated pickup and drop off zones for Uber and Lyft in restricted parking areas. And if you drove and don't feel safe walking alone, we also have the Short North Ambassador team. That's a team of uh, individuals that work and help to support safety for all in our community. Um, you can uh, get an escort to your vehicle by calling our Short North Ambassador hotline. It's now, there are also special duty officers who work down here during the busier times to deter violent crime. Although one person I talked with today said she doesn't feel that adding more officers will do any good. Live in the short north, Colin Dorsey, 10TV News.